What's up, good people? What's up, family? Welcome to another one. Listen, man, today, uh, man, they, they making all type of noise over there. But today, today, this vlog, man, let's talk, man. Let's ride and talk. Bro, they arguing with me? Y'all hear that? Jeez. Hey, can you keep it down? Anyway, let's take a ride today, man. Uh, I was gonna jump in the scat. Monthly delete today, had to reschedule all that appointment, but I just feel like chatting with y'all, man. So let's talk a little bit about Justin today. We're gonna jump in the range. Uh, now that it's warmed up, it's been starting up pretty good, man. So let's take a ride and let's go to Edwardsville, man. Let's talk about a little journey that I'm on, that I've been on, let's say, um, past history, present, uh, and let's just hang out today, man. So sorry, I can't get any warring um, scat pack content. I got some more content coming. Uh, but just hang out with your boy. Don't tune off. Hey. Right. Let's get to it. I can't take no loss. Yeah, I don't even know what it costs. Huh. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. Yeah, I don't even know what it costs. Yeah, I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. Oh, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah. All right, what's up, family, man? So we are we're in the car. We're taking a little drive, ride with me here. I don't know why I just moved the camera back because I'm so used to Harper being back there, I guess. Uh, but, man, today, it's kind of one of those days that we often have where we just kind of process, right, and just think about different things. And I was like, you know, man, let me just turn the camera on and just vlog this. But uh, I've just been thinking about kind of my journey uh, to this point uh, and kind of things that I'm pushing towards and kind of, you know what I want to be still and uh, just everything right and, and it took me back to college days man I'm a K-State guy yeah I'm a Wildcat wow what I'm a Wildcat guy uh, little Apple Manhattan Kansas man purple pride uh, every man a Wildcat all that other good stuff so all my KU fans like whatever whatever uh, but no thinking about those days man and kind of my journey in college um, as you know, graduate, as you may not know, actually, because we do so much car stuff, I don't really talk about uh, myself too much, uh, but uh, I graduated from uh, Kansas State University, man, and uh, it, it was a, it was a kind of, a, it was a rocky start for me, like like most, and that sun is, is beaming through, but uh, like most, man, uh, got to college, excited to be there, got sidetracked, uh, kind of my freshman year, uh, sidetracked pretty bad. Uh, and uh, I graduated with my uh, human resource, uh, business administration, human resource was my, uh, was my major. So graduated with that, but actually got kicked out of the College of Business my sophomore year because my GPA had dropped so bad. And so uh, it had dropped really low, like 2.4. Uh, and you needed a 3.0, I believe, uh, to stay in the College of Business. So uh, sophomore year got kicked out. And it wasn't, I mean, it was my own doing, right? I, I wasn't showing up to some finals. I kind of just kind of goofed off a little bit. You know, instead of taking like tests, I would be at the mall with, with people just, you know, kind of wilding out a little bit. Uh, freshman, I mean, First semester, I was good freshman year, but second semester kind of just got off into some stuff. So, uh, got kicked out of College of Business, man, and then it was just kind of like this light bulb came on, and I was like, I can't, I can't be one of those guys that go back home and everybody like, why is he back? You know, because I couldn't get my act together in college, and I knew what a privilege it was uh, to have that higher education and. Uh, my mom was always somebody that I, I, I looked to for higher education. She went to K-State. Uh, the reason that I, I, I went to K-State was partially because of her. It was between K-State and uh, Prairie View, A&M. And uh, Lord knows what where I would be at if I went to Prairie View. I don't know. <laughs> Wonderful school, but I don't know if I was ready for that. Who knows? But uh, so she had pushed me. She was always teacher, always pushing education. So. Uh, I didn't want to be a huge disappointment uh, to my family, so had to get my act together, man. Just kind of change it around. Had to do summer school, but uh, eventually fought my way uh, to get back into the College of Business. Of course, graduate with my degree, uh, but I had this plan, man. I had this plan, right? And this is, has to do with where we're on our way to, but in uh, my sophomore year in high school, 
I wrote a letter, right? And, and to this day, I have this letter framed, uh, but it was a letter of goals, all right? Uh, my dad's a, 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 a pastor, and during that time, he was doing this kind of series on uh, mustard seed faith and talking about the importance of writing stuff down. So I gravitated to that and I wrote down kind of all these goals that I was going to get my MBA, uh, that I was going to uh, have a house with uh, the car of my dreams in there. I was going to be a millionaire by a certain amount of time. Uh, so I framed it. I, I kept it in my wallet for a while all throughout college. Uh, I would kind of reference it, but uh, I framed the uh, I framed the, the letter and it's just something I always reference. Like it was my letter to myself like to make sure I held myself accountable. So in that letter, man, was a house, right? And my goal was always like, I want to buy a house young. I don't want to be an apartment. I just want to get a house, right? So fast forward, college, graduate, get a job. And I was like, you know what? I know some are rushing to just kind of get out of their parents' house, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get my job. I'm gonna stack my bread and before I get an apartment and just dump money into something, I'm gonna get me a house. And you know what? I did the thing, right? Stacked up some money. Uh, and the, the proudest day of my life uh, was when I was able to close on my first house, like the only from living with my parents out of college. Uh, and it took me about two years, I think, uh, to kind of stack up what I needed to or a year and a half. Uh, but to, to purchase in my first house. So I'm gonna take y'all on a journey. We are headed to Edwardsville, Kansas. All my friends, family know where we're headed, but to Justin's first house, man. I don't know how it looks, the people that purchase it from us or from me, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully it don't look too bad. But I mean, I had the house right. Like the line was always taken care of. It's just how I do things. So don't judge if it look messed up, but Let's go to Edwardsville and check out the home. Man. family so this is the the old neighborhood man we are pulling up hopefully i can give you a good shot i can't stand out the house why with a camera for too long uh, that'll be quite suspicious and they'll wonder what am i doing back with a with a camera but uh i'm gonna slow down a little bit uh but this is the kind of and it just started raining it's long ago that's kind of crazy but um see if i even no, so yeah, not this. Neighbors are still there. I can tell by the cars. But this is it, man. This is right here. This is the first, like, that's the joint right there, y'all. So I'm turning around to kind of give you a, a another look at it. But yeah, man, this is first first house, man, that uh that I purchased and like up to me, I would still have this house. <laughs> like I would definitely still have it, but but that's it, man. It's the, love that, man, love this house. They need to, they tripping on the landscaping, but absolutely love it. And yeah, that's it. That's right. So yeah, family, so you can see that, man, it's, um, just kind of reminiscent, man. So you see the first house, and I was just so proud when I when I purchased that, man, because it's something that I had on my list, right? And uh, college was a journey for me. Uh, I mean, the, the workforce was a journey for me, uh, but being able to accomplish that, it's not a mansion, it's not a huge house, uh, but it was surely a night, and it was mine, you know what I mean? It's something about when something is yours, like the first car, it could be, like <laughs> wheel scratched up three different colors of paint on it but when it's yours it's yours man and, and when you spend your your hard earned money uh, and when you set a goal out to be able to do it uh, it, it was just dope man so uh, I, I love that house it'll always be I can't like wait to 
my daughter gets a little bit older to know i'm gonna drive her past and tell her my story she could just watch the video i guess too but uh you know go from that right spend a lot of years there and uh and then you know fast forward we'll talk later about kind of where we're at and uh, kind of the new journeys but uh today i was just thinking and sometimes it's just good to uh just to to kind of reminisce and and, and really to pinpoint the how faithful like god has been in my life and his promises equal to the hard work that i put in right that like the favor of god uh and just the the grind of just kind of working hard right and uh to to think i was a young guy 20 what was that when i was in there man i'm so old now it kind of but 20 23 maybe 22 uh when i was in that house but uh to think a, a young guy being able to uh kind of do that is a big accomplishment at least for me right maybe watching this you may be a millionaire by when you were 20 you know what i mean that that's good but we all have a different journey uh but we all should be proud of the different accomplishments that we made so you know that was a big one for me man i was just like i just want to ride past actually i've been wanting to ride past that house for the past uh like few weeks but just haven't had a chance to uh, but today i wanted to take you with me to kind of rock you know ride and, and kind of look at that man but but god has just been like like faithful man like college years getting again getting kicked out the college of business knucklehead that's on me uh but grinding grinding my way uh back in there to get that gpa up from summer school to to all type of extra classes i mean grinding it out I made the mistake, but I did the work to kind of get back in the College of Business and then to graduate uh, what was pretty dope and then going to get my MBA uh, here locally. But, you know, the, the journey, man, it's too much to talk about just in this one vlog, but I thought it would be cool just to kind of show you, show you my, my, my one of my proudest moments, uh, which is kind of purchasing my personal proudest moments, which is personally purchasing that house. Uh, and uh, it was cool, man. It, it was, uh, I decked it out on the inside, you know, I, it, it was cool. You know, my decorating style uh, has, uh, let me say it has, it's come up a notch, right? I, I, the glow up of my decorating style. I won't tell you what somebody said about my decorating style, but it has something to do with me having a decorating style of a, a 65 year old woman and I didn't, or 70 year old woman. And I didn't appreciate that back then. Didn't appreciate that at all. So anyway, man, that's that's kind of a little short, short vlog about my story, man. And, and if if you're younger watching this, you know, and college, whatever the journey is, man. And if you've had a dream, and if you're older, you know, if you're 30, going on 40, like me, in the 30s, I should say, going on 40. Uh, but my encouragement is that God is faithful and it's never too late. And that's one thing I'm telling myself about uh, some things that I want to accomplish. Uh, and when you start kind of, time starts to move, especially when you have kids, it starts to move and it gets faster and faster. Uh, and you don't wanna, you know, you, you, you wanna be a, a man that is the head of your family, that uh, supports your family, that is a covering for your family, to provide for your family but there's this balance of you don't want to lose yourself right of your own your goals and achievements that you you still may want to uh things that you still may want to do or things you still may want to achieve uh but you know I, I, there's some promises that i know god has for me that have not yet been fulfilled uh and i'm gonna work my you know what all uh to to get everything that's coming to me uh so with that work uh, you know, faith without works is dead. So with me putting the work in and having the faith in God's favor, uh, I know they're going to, to come through. Uh, and um, yeah, so I'm just believing God. So it's still more to be done. Uh, it's still more to this story of Justin Bond to be written. Uh, and I'm excited. I know there's gonna be a lot of valleys in there too. It comes with it. Um, but I know the same God on the mountaintop is the same God in the valley. So, hey, let's take the journey together. But anyway, man, stay blessed uh thank you for riding with me hopefully you stayed on to the end uh and just be encouraged man we all on this journey together uh i'm transparent so you'll see some ups uh, you'll see some downs i'm not just gonna show you the highlights uh but i'm learning to be more vulnerable i'm not a vulnerable guy <laughs> i'm just not that but i'm learning to be more of that because uh, it's not just about us it's about who we can possibly help 
So in order to do that, sometimes we have to be vulnerable and not just show our highlights of our life, but uh, it's those uh, those bad times or those valleys that, that really help people. So anyway, stay encouraged. I uh, love you all, man. Uh, subscribe. Let's get to a thousand. Roll to a thousand, people. Let's go to a thousand. So until next time, see ya. I can't take no